Hey guys, and welcome to another uh, quick tutorial on a product release for Roar 3 Solutions. We have a uh, blue striped marlin that we just finished up. And I'm uh, going to talk through some of the features. And uh, this model is actually a little bit unique in a couple of ways. So I want to make sure that it's uh, kind of discussed so everyone understands. So first and foremost, you can always go to Roar3Solutions.com to find the best low cost, high quality Cinema 4D models that are rigged. Uh, I have a little introduction here you can always look at that will give you some information. But the best part is going into our store and seeing what it is that we have to offer. We have a lot of models. The pricing is absolutely the lowest it can possibly be. Uh, but if you're interested in, in collection packages, uh, we can absolutely offer more discounted uh, features. The more models you buy, the less uh, the package will cost. But as you go through, you'll see that all of our models are rigged and they are uh, quick drop in for Cinema 4D. Uh, now, that's not only the case for everything that we make. We do make things that are also uh, animated for other programs that are just not rigged. So let's talk through what we have here. So first and foremost, this is the Marlin. And I've created it first off in a fish rig, as I normally do whenever it is a fish object. Uh, now the fish rig will give you everything that you want and hopefully a little bit more for a general uh, swimming effect. So if I come in here to the Expresso, you can see there's a, uh, just a couple things going on to be able to give you the output that you're looking for. But uh, essentially what we have here is our normal level detail editor. So if I come in here and do this, you'll see that we have a level detail zero and then on up one and two and, and so on and so forth. So uh, it is a low polygon model. So from any distance, this model will render out looking really decent. Uh, and then up close, I would encourage you to use a level detail at least of one or two uh, to give you a nice sharp image. So what we also have is the uh, nose wiggle, which will increase the amplitude uh, of the uh, of the fish, so that way you have you know a little bit more sway in its step. You also have the ability to increase the speed, which will give you kind of a faster move. Now, if you're applying this to a spline, this is all uh, really going to be dependent on how you want to apply it to the spline. But this is a great way of going about it. It's quick. It's simple. Uh, the fish rig in general is really pretty decent, uh, and I, I, do, uh, I do agree with uh, uh, Cinema 4D's methods and how they do it, uh, but there are some flaws to it, so I'll leave that for, uh, for you to determine. Uh, tail wiggle, obviously, we can whip that tail around, and I have the, the weight mapping pretty soft in it, so you can do that. Um, but in general, the default settings, uh, which you see right here, are pretty uh, nominal. Uh, you can roll the head left and right a little bit. You have the ability to move the head up and down a little bit. And you have the ability to open and close this mouth. And again, these are all weight map parts so that you can, you know, if you're making an animation and you're, you're jumping out of the water with a fishing lure in your mouth, you know, you'll be able to get a really cool result with all this. Uh, so that's one of the uh, the models that we offer. Uh, we also, um, if I come in here real fast, uh, I do have an, a pre-animated one. Uh, and this is just kind of combining a, a number of things. So combining head roll with the mouth opening, the head moving. And so you can see this is kind of what you end up with. So... Uh, Actually, I'll go ahead and drop that back here. There we go. So here's here are the controls that have been adjusted, and you can see the keyframes that are put in place. And so it's just a couple of different features, little functions to be able to give it the, uh, the output that uh, that we're looking for. So another thing that we've done that's a little unique to this one is we've actually created a bone structure, a generic bone structure. Um, let me get rid of that guy. So a generic bone structure so that the model actually has uh, some features that you would normally get with the fish rig. Uh, and I've lightened it up a little bit to make it uh, a little bit simpler. But I've actually gone in and created my own Espresso and uh, uh, restriction tags so that uh, you can actually use this in other programs. So basically, uh, if you want an animation for a different program, I can bake the uh, animation into the, uh, the mesh for you through this means. So, we have a lot going on here, 
Uh, although when you look at the rig, it's very simple. So lots of bone structure and whatnot, very uh, straightforward. And that's really all you have to it. It's just a couple of the bone uh, bits and pieces. But what we can do is as you go through and say we hit play on the model, it looks very similar to the fish rig. And uh, what I was actually able to do is smooth out some areas even better than the fish rig offers by creating my own rig. Uh, so uh, same thing, you have the level detail in the editor, in the subdivision, or uh, within the renderer. And then you have the amplitude of, of how much sway you want. And this actually works really well, even with a, a high level of sway um, for like a kind of a quick speed off. Uh, it, it will look really clean it, and I've been able to you know uh, adjust everything real gentle and I've tried to make the, the commands as close as I can to the regular fish rig as possible um, so you can increase the speed and again this is just a vibration tag on this model uh, you can increase the speed at which you're you're doing everything you can run away in a hurry um, uh, from you know a fisherman that's trying to get you uh, so you, lots of power to sit here and manipulate things and the same thing you can move the head up and down and you have functionality of the mouth opening and closing so again this is a this is kind of a cool fun uh, model it'll render out real nice uh, as I said it's a, it is a, a PBR uh, mapped so we have a, a color uh, AO a reflectance uh, both a, a reflect map a um, I actually use the uh, uh, it's it's a color map that I use for both reflection and for the specular uh, and then I have a, a roughness map and a normal map and uh, you know the end result will give you some really nice output uh, you know even up close and personal to the fish added in some scratches and tried to do some things that that the actual fish uh, would have and uh, still give you a really usable uh, model overall so I hope you guys enjoy this Please do check out our website, link will be in the description below, and as always, happy modeling.